Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Having a look, continuing on with our favorite gear from 2017. Uh, what was your favorite Canon lens of 2017? In other words, what new lens from Canon that came out in 2017 was your favorite? We've got some interesting options here as we did with the cameras we looked at. We've got the Canon EF85 F14L IS USM. So in other words, that's an update to the classic 85 millimeter portrait lens and it's an L lens and it has IS and it is a USM lens. So uh, that is around $15.99, not an inexpensive lens, but a very nice piece of glass and for a lot of people, a favorite portrait lens. So then we have the Canon 135 F4L macro tilt shift lens. So the 135 is a nice focal length. It's a prime. It's an F4. It is an L series lens. Again, the top Canon lenses are L series. They have that red stripe around them and they are the L a part of the L lineup. This is a tilt shift lens as well as being a macro. Nice focal length for a macro. I'm not a huge user of tilt shift lenses. I know some people love them and swear by them. Not so much for me. So this one really didn't turn my crank so much. I would be more interested in that 85 we just discussed. Then we had the humble Canon EFS 18 to 55 F4 to 56 IS STM. So basically we have an update to the kit lens making it an STM lens. And uh, you know what? This lens is nothing fancy, nothing that gets people excited, but it is a very decent kit lens. It does the job. It performs pretty darn good for the price. Um, I mean, you get this with a kit for a lot less than the average rate of about 250 if you're buying it uh, by itself. Um, and it's IS, so it's image stabilized. It's STM, so it's got that STM motor in it so that it's quiet for video. You pair this up with any of the Canons and dual pixel focus and you're going to town for video. It's it's a decent lens. It's not particularly exciting. But it's, it's a decent update to a, to a very popular lens. The Canon TSE 90mm f2.8 tilt shift lens is the next one up. So a 90mm tilt shift. It's f2.8, so it's a fixed focal length prime. It's fairly fast at f2.8, but not as fast as if it was an f1.8 or a f1.4, like that 85 f1.4 we were just discussing. Again, tilt shift. Not really something that floats my boat a lot, but there are a lot of people that really like tilt shift. Thirteen ninety nine is the average going rate for this. Uh, next up, we have the Canon EFS 35mm f2.8 macro IS STM lens. Now, this is not a range that I particularly like for shooting in general or for macro, but I do applaud Canon for flushing out the EFS lineup for the crop sensors more. So we've got a, a good offering here. It's a faster lens, f2.8. It's macro, it's IS, and it is STM for video. So really decent. It's listing at 349 on average, um, not including sales or things like that, but a nice offering from Canon. I could see a lot of people um, would have been excited about that. Next up, we've got a Canon 50mm f2.8L macro tilt shift lens. So um, 50 doesn't excite me either. For macro, I like longer lenses for a 50. This could double as a 50, a tilt shift, and your and a, um, a portrait lens for you, on, especially on an APS-C body, um, like a Rebel or an ADD. Uh, tilt shift lenses don't really float my boat. This one's retailing at $21.99. It's the price I'm seeing here. 50 mil, um, not something that excites me at this speed. I'd rather have a fast 50. Uh, my favorite probably Canon lens, especially recommending it for APS-C sensor shooters once you're getting out of kit lenses is to get yourself into a 50 F1.8 STM lens. Uh, for the price, you can't beat that little guy. It's about 125 bucks. This to me is a very expensive specialized lens and I'm not sure how many people would actually even be interested in that lens. So it's an interesting offering from Canon but I'm not even sure how well it would sell. So to recap, we've got that 85 F14 LIS USM lens. We've got the tilt shift 135. We've got the EFS 18 to 55, the refresh bringing us IS and STM on their standard kit lens. We got the tilt shift 90 mil. So we're seeing a lot of tilt shifts here for 2017. We've got the Canon EFS 35 mm F28 macro IS STM. So a nice offering for in the EFS lineup. Um, again, a little short for me for a macro, but a lot of people do like that range, so it could double as your um, 
street shooting lens as well as having a macro in its IS and STM. Then we've got that other tilt shift, the 50 millimeter F28L macro. Too short for me for a macro and too expensive for me because tilt shift isn't something I'm that interested in. But I'm sure plenty of you are. Well, that one's a, a unique beast. I'd, I'd be interested to know how many actually are interested in that. My choice out of all these, I immediately was looking at choosing the 18-55 to IS STM just because it's such a popular lens. So many people use it. This is a good budget lens and it's a nice update. But you know what one out for me here is? I love 85 mil lens for portraits on full frame bodies such as a 6D Mark II or Canon 5D Mark IV or even the top of the line flagship, the 1DX series. Um, and this Canon EF84 F14L IS USM. So now we've got IS and it's a USM lens. And it, it's, of course, it's an L lens at F14. That's my favorite. That's my pick for the best, uh, my, my, my favorite lens Canon introduced for 2017. But I want to know what yours is out of all of these. What would you choose? What's your favorite lens? Let us know in the comments below and why. What is it and why are you choosing it? Just curious to know what you guys think about this. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Let's discuss it, flesh it out a bit. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.